Hey guys, it's Sarah. I hope you're all doing amazing. Today's video is our favorite video, and that's Dollar Tree haul. I always like to start these hauls with the thing that I was most excited about, so let me start by sharing my new favorite find. So that is this new CoverGirl Full Spectrum uh, Matte all day powder foundation. They only had two shade ranges when I was there, so I didn't have like much of a selection, but I believe this is probably one of the darkest shades. I picked it up because I thought that you could use this as a contour or like a bronzer. I was super excited about these gel soak off caps. They're from Sassy and Chic. You get 10 of them in here. And what makes these different than the other ones that you see at Dollar Tree is they're basically like on like a little clothespin. So you basically like close pin it to your finger so it's not going to move, it's not going to budge, and it's going to do a really good job at soaking off your nails or soaking off that gel polish. I'm super duper excited to try this out for $1.25. I think that's a great deal and it seems pretty useful. One of the Be Pure products that I'm the most impressed with right now is this one. It's the Hydrating Primer Serum. It's infused with rose oil. This is a fantastic, like if you're looking for like a sticky base, this is going to be the one to try. I put this all over my face and then I put my makeup on and I am obsessed. I really, really like it. I was so obsessed I went and picked up another one just so that I could have backup. These are really, really good and I like the way that it makes your makeup stick on your face. I'm like, fantastic. If you see this, pick it up. I really like it. Another item from Be Pure, which I thought was super cute, it's their Glitter Roller Ball Fragrance. One is in Strawberry, the other one is in Blueberry. If you have tween age kids, then these are good for them. I feel like they're nice to have on hand. You can put them in your book bag, you can put them in your handbag. It definitely smells like blueberry. It has an okay scent, it's not too bad. It smells more like actual blueberries than it does like a perfume, so I definitely wouldn't say that it's a perfume. Another Be Pure product, this is their infused pressed powder. I have tried this before and I really do like it, especially for setting under the eyes. It does a good job because it's in the shade translucent, so it basically works and it doesn't leave like that white cast. I definitely like it. If you've watched my hauls previously, then you know Freeman has been all over Dollar Tree. Well, guess what's back? Yes to, and I am a fan of Yes to. I actually enjoy a lot of their face masks. I believe that they are cruelty free as well. Uh, they're made with love from California. These are the Yes To Light Hydration Super Fresh Facial Wipes. They had a bunch of different facial wipes. They have ones that are in coconut as well. They also had this Yes To Coconut Hydrating Facial Wipes. These are great to keep on hand. And I've said it time and time again that I have stopped using facial wipes like these type of wipes to take off my makeup. But I have kids, I'm on the go in the summer months. Some Sometimes you need to just like wipe their face. I'm not using these to remove my makeup because I feel like a cleansing balm does a much better job, but I really like these. These actually have 40 wipes in there, so you're getting a good amount for just $1.25. They also have the Yes To Avocado Fragrance Free Hydrating Cream Mask. I thought this would be great to try. They had this Yes To mask. It's the Yes To Cucumbers Calming Bubbling Paper Mask. And then they had the Yes To Tomatoes Two Step Nose Kit. I was so excited to see these Maybelline lipsticks at Dollar Tree. They had a bunch of different selections. They had some that were matte and some that were metallic. This one is the Maybelline. It's in 575 Brownish Blush. This one is a matte. This one is in 555 Naked Coral. This one is a matte Maybelline Ink. And then this one is 704 Carnal Brown, I believe. They're all basically like brownish shades. I thought that this one, Naked Coral, looked really, really good. So let's open this up and swatch it. The one thing for sure about Dollar Tree is they are going to try to get you with this different type of packaging. Like you can't even tell what this is. Ooh. I'm definitely more of just like a liquid lipstick kind of girl, but this is going to be nice. And I feel like you always need more brownish shades. This is a really good color, cool. This one is in, oh, so this is the color Whisper, and this one is in number 20. Okay, and then we have some more Be Pure products. This is the Tinted Rose Oil Lip Balm. This looked pretty good. It says, goes from clear to your unique lip color. I guess there's like the three shades on the back that it could be, and it, Basically works with your pH balance. This pH adapting lip balm changes color with each individual, creating your own 
own lip tint. That seems pretty interesting, so I will definitely test this out and let you guys know how I like it. I'm gonna move over here because there's light coming through the back, but there's also a new makeup line that's at Dollar Tree. I'll put the name up on the screen, but this is a nude smoky quad. It has four eyeshadow shades. They look really good. Three of them are shimmers, and then they have one like matte brown. They had a mascara that was absolutely terrible. As soon as I opened it and I tried it, the wand broke, so I wasn't able to use it. They had a liquid, um, they had a liquid eyeliner, and then they also had a setting spray. So there are a few new things. If you see this line at Dollar Tree, pick it up. I feel like with all of the Freeman products that are out at Dollar Tree right now, I've been picking up so many skincare products that I don't really know if I need them all, but I could not pass on this one. It's the Freeman Hawaiian Black Salt Peel Pads. Basically, they're exfoliating pads that you just take and put on your skin. And then the only other Freeman product that I picked up was the Ultra Healing Cream Mask. This is meant for dehydrated skin. Basically, it's a cream mask that you can sleep in, and then when you wake up in the morning, your skin will be super glowy, fresh. I tried this, and it's a 10 out of 10. These storage containers are from the Essentials line. I feel like Dollar Tree has had these previously, but they've redone the plastic that they're in. They're bit, like a bit more heavy duty, a little bit better quality than they had before. The ones that were before were just like straight up, like thin plastic. Durable, crystal clear, transparent. An organizer with lid. Now, if you have things like jewelry, if you have makeup, if you have small things that you need to organize and stack up, that's what I thought you could use this for. These are three of them. These little metal things are from the hardware section. It's from the brand Toolbench. So Dollar Tree has had these for years, but I feel like I've never really seen them in this silver color. So I picked up two of these to help organize sunglasses. It mixes really well with the paper towel holder that's in the kitchen section. So I'm just gonna use a zip tie to zip tie it all together and I'll share with you guys how you can place your sunglasses to keep them organized and out of the way. And then I grabbed two of these Sterilite little organizers with handles. I got two of those baskets and two of the Stack It Up containers to organize underneath my kitchen sink. These all work really well because they are plastic, but they're pretty durable. And I love the fact that these stacking containers come in black now. Typically, they would be super bright colors and you would have to spray paint them. You don't have to do that anymore. And they're really great for organizing like odd spaced areas because you can stack as many as you need. I absolutely love the way that this little space turned out and I love the fact that you can find everything at Dollar Tree for just $1.25. Okay, now for Easter, I saw this basket buddy. Now they've had these years previous, but I wanted to try it and test it out. Basically, it comes with everything that you need to create your own Easter basket, so I thought this would be fun for the kids to try. In the Easter section, they had two different styles of these Easter bunny pillowcases. I thought this was a great deal. For $1.25, typically these things go super fast in my store. So I got one in pink and one in blue. Basically, it's like a pillowcase cover. It says that it's 15 by 15. Look at that. Okay, that quality though, y'all. I picked up quite a few florals for crafts that I'm trying to do for spring. I feel like I really liked the blue for the blue shovel, so we will give that a try. I have some of these yellow ones. I got two of those some Gerber daisies, some white ones, and then some blue ones. It's called the Angel, Angel of Mine Kids Storage Bag. Basically, the suction cups go here. Oh, not too bad. They had a frog, and I believe they had one other style. Then also in the kids section, I picked up two of these shovels. These are great for outside play, but I actually picked them up for some spring DIY. So if you want to see how I use them, make sure you subscribe. For the kids, I also saw these jump ropes and skippets that light up. Now, I absolutely used to love the skippet when I was a kid, but the fact that it lights up makes it even better. I saw a similar one to this at Five Below, and it was $5, so $1.25 is a fantastic deal. It's not the best quality, but it definitely worked as a super inexpensive Easter basket filler. This is from Perfect View. It's their adjustable laptop and tablet stand. I thought this would be fun to test out because I'm all about keeping my computer off of the table and off of like the surface because I'd hate when water gets near it. But it's not the best quality. The plastic is a little bit cheap and janky. It does the trick. It looks like it retails at Walmart for about $12, so a great deal at Dollar Tree. I saw this Daisy eyeglass pouch. I thought it was super cute. It came in pink and a blue and I really liked the black and white daisy. I'm not sure why it has all of these different contraptions, but I thought it'd be cute. You could keep it in the car, keep your sunglasses in there. So I was able to find oat milk at Dollar Tree. It's from the Elmhurst brand. It is in the blueberry flavor. It's just 
filtered water, whole grain oats, cane sugar, and natural flavors. This oat milk would work really, really well in a smoothie, so I'm going to share one that I'm creating using the Dollar Tree frozen fruit. This is the strawberry mango blueberry mixture that they have in the frozen section. I'm using a scoop of the Dollar Tree protein that I found. This is in vanilla, and I actually really, really like it. And then this oat milk is pretty watery in consistency, so you want to make sure that you shake it up before you pour it in, but you're just going to pour that into the blender. I added in a scoop of yogurt as well just to help make it a little bit thick and creamy and then you're just going to blend it up. This makes a nice, healthy, inexpensive option that you can find at Dollar Tree. So buy it if you see it. Moving right along from Kellogg's, they have this Crunch Mania. I've never seen these before in my life. I have no clue what they are. Is it like a cookie? Oh, let me see. I give it a three star out of five. It reminds me of a frosted animal cookie. It's not great, but it's okay. I definitely would eat them if I was starving. And then lastly, I got the Kinder Seafood Blend seasoning. These seasonings are pretty expensive at the grocery store, so $1.25 is a fantastic price tag. I feel like they have good quality spices and I absolutely love the brand. If you're all about finding good deals in Dollar Tree hauls, make sure you subscribe to the channel before you go. Give the video a thumbs up and share it because it helps my channel more than you'll ever know. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching. If you're a real one and you made it to the end of this video, leave the hidden word ant in the comment section down below. Leave it in a funny snarky cute kind of way or just leave some ant emojis so i know who made it to the end i love you and i will see you guys next time for another video bye you guys